Hello there and welcome to 360 View, where we look at all the sites in the news. My name is Olufem Miyamoto, I am your host for this show, and I welcome you to the new year. Happy 2023. Welcome. And please subscribe if you've not done so. Okay, we're back to Nigerian news and back to some, some sort of politics, uh, which is expected because the general election is uh, just about um, a month and some weeks away. Um, general election in Nigeria is happening on the, especially the presidential election, which, uh, which commanded the most attention, is taking place on the 25th of February. And there's been a lot of uh, build up to that. Uh, people, you know, having this, um, their, this, their opinions, people having their, their say, not necessarily their way, but, you know, a lot of permutations here and there. And the latest actually happened uh, as recent as yesterday, but the reaction continues till, even till now. Uh, more than 20, 24 hours later. I'm talking about the endorsement by Chief Oluche Gwaba Sanjo, who is the first uh, uh, president in this dispensation, this democratic uh, rulership that Nigeria started in 1999. So Obasanjo, uh, under the PDP, um, was... Uh, president from 2000 i mean 1999 to 2007 uh he ruled twice under the uh, pdp flag and he handed over to umaru musaya radua and then uh when Radua became sick uh, uh jonathan good luck jonathan was able to take over uh, so in the scheme of things abasan joe remains he is and remains uh a well, one of the political gladiators in this country and you know if you if you are a keen observer some month ago the candidate of the ruling apc uh, I'm, I'm talking about uh Bola Tinubu, uh took an entourage to visit um chief abasan uh, in uh, in his office at abe okota in what many people considered to be a political move uh, to seek the endorsement of um, Chief Obasanjo. Uh, but if at this moment, the APC camp are saying uh, that trip was not really about uh, seeking for endorsement. Uh, they say it was a peace, peace move. Why are they changing the tone of their voice? The, the reason is because uh, the cat is let out of the bag. President, former President Obasanjo, has thrown his weight behind um, the candidate of the Labour Party, that is the standard bearer, Peter Obi. He says Peter Obi has an edge over other presidential candidates in terms of knowledge, discipline, vitality, and character. You look at all these indices and call on Nigerians to vote for the uh, uh, Mr. Peter Obi in the February 25 presidential poll. But, you know, as Obasanjo is one to, he, he did this in a, in a lengthy letter that addressed to Nigerians, especially the youth of Nigeria. However, that call has uh, spoiled a lot of reactions um, from political players from different uh, sectors. Uh, so that endorsement of uh, Peter Obi by Baba Sanjo has attracted angry reactions from the APC, the PDP, the SDP, ABGA, the AAA, um, all of them describing his uh, endorsement as worthless. Um, so I'm going to give you uh, all this about before going further into all this, I, I mean, the the point is that, uh, so, I, you know, I asked a question, if you remember one of the episodes, I asked a question about um, uh, what's the 
impact of endorsement? What value does endorsement have in emerging political leaders in this country? So if a, a group of people endorse you, does it mean that uh, everybody in that um, everybody will follow suit and you know uh, and vote for you because ultimately it depends on Nigerians uh, Nigerians of voting age who have the means of voting are the ones that would decide they are the ones that would determine who becomes elected uh, in the presidential election so if Nigerians are swayed by the call by the move by uh, people like Obasanjo, that means uh, uh, Mr. Peter Obi has a chance. And if you look at his antecedent, actually, um, so all the people Obasanjo has endorsed over time, uh, you look at 2007, he endorsed um, Yaradua, Yaradua became the president. In 2011, he endorsed Good Luck Jonathan against his own vice presidential a former vice VP, Atiko Baka, endorsed uh, Jonathan, Jonathan won. In 2015, uh, rather than endorse Jonathan again, because he thought Jonathan had failed, he now endorsed um, the incumbent, that's uh, Mohamed Buhari, and Buhari won. Then in the last election, which was uh, 2019, he endorsed Atiku. People thought that would be an impossibility, but he did. He endorsed Atiku, and for the first time, the candidate he endorsed did not win because um, he said he could not endorse um, Buhari again. But all this tells you that he has antecedent of endorsing candidates, and most of them eventually actually go on to succeed in the polls. Will that be the same? this time or will the story be different time will tell so uh, abasanjo announced his support for the labor candidate uh, labor party candidate in a letter you know even re most recently a, a book was published by the editor of the premium times mr mosikilu wajid that talks about the letter man abasanjo and so abasanjo has written another letter and in this letter, it titled it, My Appeal to All Nigerians, particularly young Nigerians. Um, so the in, his, in that letter, Obasan just spoke directly to Nigerian youth, you know, telling them why this is their time. They cannot afford to waste this opportunity. Um, they should vote for Peter Obi. Uh, he said in the, in the letter, he described the last seven years of Buhari as Buhari regime as horrible and hell on earth for most Nigerians. You know, that comment itself has uh, drawn a backlash from the presidency. Um, show, um, you know, the, the, the presidential spokesperson for, for Buhari, he said, you know, uh, Garba he said, but, but uh, that said, Obasan just uh, comment coming that they came from the place of venge, venge, vengeance. That is, uh, he said, Obasan is talking out of frustration because um, Buhari has surpassed him in every way possible. Well, um, we sincerely, I, I, I expect less than. I mean, not less than this because of the way uh, that those presidential spokesperson has been. But it's, the standard is really low. Um, but, you know, Obasanjo is really on point, I, I mean, in terms of his own assessment of what is, uh, is coming uh, to pass in the new year, which is just the election is very close. So we have nothing to say uh, than to really prepare. Um, you know, in a very reference, the, length, the letter is actually lengthy. You can find time to read it. Uh, in, in reference to Tinubu and Atiku's stance, that it was their turn to lead the country. And on their claim that they have paid their dues, uh, the former leader, that was just let me see straight away that Emilio Kong, which is in English, it means it's my turn. And 
I have paid my dues, in quote, and one at the same thing. And these are wrong attitude and mentality for the leadership of Nigeria now. They cannot form the new pedestal to reinvent and invest in the new Nigeria based on all Nigerian government. You know, those two uh, candidates, uh, you know, they have been saying this, they are turned, this, they are turned. But Basu just saying, no. He said the solution should be in we and us and not in me and I. Uh, on, unlike what those other people are saying. But, you know, the, the there's been a lot of backlash, actually, since then. In fact, uh, Governor Yosun Wiki, he threw a shade um, uh, to Atiku. He said, you know, in, in a broadcast uh, stuff yesterday, I, I watched him, he said, I was praying that Obasanjo should not say anything. When I saw the letter last night, I was touched. If your principal cannot recommend you, then there is something fundamentally wrong. You know, that, that uh, veil statement is directed at uh, Atiku Abaka. You know, Wiki and Atiku, they are at loggerheads at the moment. So we don't even know who Wiki and his G5 governors are endorsing. But as I put a top to this uh, episode, I just want to know your from your opinion. Do you think this um, so-called endorsement? Do you think what what does it what? What's on the now throwing his weight behind and uh, behind Peter Obi? Does it mean Peter Obi has a good chance? Does it mean he has won the election? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As usual, I thank you for uh, watching, listening to me. And I, I pray that you have a great year in 2023.